electric dipole in uniform electric field. A uniform electric field has constant magnitude and direction everywhere. It is represented by parallel equispaced lines. Net force on an electric dipole placed in uniform electric field is zero. This is uniform electric field. We have a dipole minus Q charge plus Q charge placed in uniform electric field E. The force on positive charge is in the direction of electric field and it will be written as force on positive charge is Q into E. It is in the direction of electric field. Force on negative charge is opposite to electric field vector and this is written as charge into electric field and here it is minus Q into E. This negative sign means force is opposite to electric field vector. Now what is the net force on dipole? It is the sum of forces on positive charge and negative charge which is a vector sum. And this is QE plus minus QE which is zero. Couple. Now what do we mean by couple? So when equal and opposite forces which are non-collinear This is uniform electric field. A dipole placed in this uniform electric field. Force on positive charge. Force on negative charge. Now we know that the magnitude of this force is Q, E. They are equal. They are opposite also they will form a couple. So here a couple is formed by these two. Now this separation between charges is also twice A. Now we will see torque due to couple. So due to this couple, there is a turning effect and this turning effect of force will study as torque. The turning effect of force is called torque. So here this is the couple formed force F, force F, positive charge, negative charge. So they are equal and opposite forces. They are also non-collinear. What is the torque due to couple? So we'll discuss about the torque due to couple. So torque equals to force into perpendicular distance. Now force is Q 
E and perpendicular distance between the forces this angle is suppose theta so this perpendicular distance between this force and this line of force is this length and this is r perpendicular equals to this is hypotenuse this is theta this is 2a sin theta so here qe into 2a sin theta what is 2qa it is called dipole moment e sin theta this is the magnitude of torque now we know that torque is a vector quantity it must have direction so let us see in which direction it will rotate so if you see this dipole the force on this positive charge and force on this negative charge this is the center of dipole so it will turn like this and if I say that it is negative charge minus Q it is positive charge plus Q so this is the dipole moment vector from negative to positive charge this is the electric field vector and this is theta so this direction is clockwise means axially inward it is axial vector axially inward so this torque is axially inward so if you use right hand thumb rule so it is simply written as this torque equals to p vector cross e vector as we know in right hand thumb rule we'll stretch our right hand in the direction of p vector curling fingers about e vector and as you curl the fingers about e vector the thumb which will point inward will give you the direction of torque